Hi, my name is Frédéric Fabry, Professor of Meteorology at McGill, and I will talk to you about measurements of pressure. We know since the 17th century that diminishing pressure is generally associated with approaching storms, while increasing pressure often signals nicer weather is to come. Measuring pressure accurately was hence critical. Nowadays, pressure is measured by electronic sensors that are inside computer-based weather stations. Historically, in people's homes, you were more likely to find aneroid barometers like the one I'm holding. In official weather stations, though, a mercury barometer was used. In mercury barometers, the pressure from the air pushes a column of mercury upward. The height of the column of mercury is such that the pressure of its weight balances that of the atmosphere. The height of the column of mercury is measured using a graduated scale. Depending on the country or the era, the scale is graduated in inches or centimeters of mercury or in millibars or hectopascals. To obtain a precise measurement from a mercury barometer, several corrections must be undertaken. First, because the graduated scale may not have been fixed perfectly in place, a correction specific to each barometer instrument must be made to get the correct height of the mercury column. Then, one must remember that two different processes will make the level of mercury rise. If the pressure is stronger, which is what we want to measure, or if the temperature warms and the mercury expands. This is why the barometer also has a thermometer attached. If the th temperature of the barometer is known, one can compute the height that would have been measured at a reference temperature, for example, zero degrees Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit. This gives us the actual station pressure. But to combine or compare pressure measurements from multiple locations, another factor must be accounted for, altitude. Indeed, pressure varies with height, as illustrated by this video taken in an elevator going down. That is because pressure is due to the weight of the column of air above, and as you go down, that column gets taller and heavier. One must then estimate what would be the pressure at a reference altitude, generally at sea level. This calculation is done based on information on temperature and station height and pressure. For McGill, around 50 meters above sea level, this correction is small, of the order of 0.2 inches of mercury. When this final correction is added, we obtain the sea level pressure. 